Hi all, uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, I just thought I'd show you the kind of like a lot of bases that I've been looking at, uh, a lot of bases that I've been testing out, as you can see from my videos. Uh, suicide bases, kind of all kinds of bases using level threes to transfer loot and stuff like that. But what I've found is basically the big E base. Uh, and you know the area it's in the more likely you're going to get raided so what you want to be doing i mean i'm going to show you the stealth base that i've made and it's up to you how you do it but these are just my ideas but what you want to be doing is kind of looking for somewhere where you're away from all the monuments where people generally don't want to go and you don't want to really go here because as soon as you take like any clothes off you're going to get cold you're going to start getting really cold. And you're going to die quite quickly. Alright, but we'll go on to clothes and heating and stuff like that. Alright, but anyway, so... The layout of it is quite simple. You've got... You can build it better than I have, I'm sure. Um, you know, get yourself some shells. Or do the, you know, the half wall trick. Uh, whatever you want to do. Get Yeah, I've got enough boxes for me. I don't know if it's enough boxes for you. Um, you know, whatever. Um, two furnaces there, obviously, one of them you can get into. And just some clothes, stuff like that. You know, stuff I need, a deployable, I need to research anything. Stuff like that. Anyway, so that's just the, the outer. Uh, we'll get into heating in a minute, but that's just, you know, the general layout. Build it how you want, and obviously, I need to upgrade this. Um, to armoured not only for the fact you know that it's stronger but it also looks more camouflage which you'll see in a minute um sorry about that I just put my trousers on um so yeah I'll show you why this base is so good I mean apart from anything you'll never hear anything you'll you'll occasionally hear the odd farmer uh, this place is absolutely covered in nerds everywhere around here I mean most of the maps you'll go on will be similar to this right so you're gonna be most people who build in the stealth bases in the mountains are gonna build around here because it's not so annoying with you know getting cold and and so on you know um, just because there's a lot of nerds and so on and, and a lot of people are gonna farm there because there's a lot of nerds uh, whether whether or not there's monuments which there is a lot on this server but for me luckily there isn't uh, that many monuments around so anyway choose anywhere you want that you think stealthy but look for the rocks look for the, the kind of not only just the rock faces but the rocks that kind of go lower than the ground and are a bit bizarre right uh, a bit bizarre to get to a bit hard to get to I mean I've luckily I can mark this mark this map, so you know I can find where it goes. But majority of times before I did mark it, I'd lose it. I wouldn't even be able to find my own base. So if you can't find your own base, that's a really good thing. You know, if it's that hard to spot. All right. So you've seen the insides of it. Um, I spoke about like being stealthy. Try and be as quiet as possible. Uh, Google up uh, the crouch key and how to bind the crouch key so you're always crouching you're never making any noise more so when you're outside your base because obviously when you're inside you're not really going to be making that much noise anyway uh, if you hear anyone outside don't do this All right, because they're just going to know you're there and it's just going to make people think what are they doing down there Yeah. Uh, like if I hear anyone I'll, I'll just silent and i'll stay like that it's usually people with jackhammers and you'll hear them come and go fly away that'll be it uh, i did hear a conversation between two farmers and they said uh, it's probably a farm base and that was it so you know <laughs> it's uh it's sly but anyway you haven't seen the outside probably it's an old roof camp in there right We'll talk more about heating in a minute, because that is the key thing when you're living out here. So you'll notice, I could have chosen a, probably a better spot, but I'm right stuck in the mountain there. And this is real important how you place it. 
is to get yourself right stuck in and try and get yourself below sort of a level of, of vision of, of anyone going by on a boat. If anyone was going by on a boat and this was ideally upgraded to you know high grade because then it'd blend in more um you're not really gonna see it you may see it but there you go you know you're not, you, if you see i could have probably got a bit lower and then they, they wouldn't see it by the boat but unlikely to see that by the boat i'll tell you now by running just running below now which we'll do now um so there there you know there there it is i've got myself a panel i've deliberately put my panel in a in there i need to get another one so i need to do a few more mods to this base but i've deliberately put my you know everything right crammed in there uh why not and it keeps me right out the way you know this is a busy server all right so i'll take you to my old base in a minute and you'll see how busy how crazy it is but the only annoying thing about this base is you know entering and exiting i'd always advise you never go down you always go up you're never going to get back up now which is a good thing it's so hard I, i've tried it like so many times it's just, you know which is a good thing because no one running down the beach is going to be able to get up if you choose the right spot there's another nice spot if you was to it's a bit too close to the beach for me but if it's a bit higher up you can get down here get yourself a little two by two, uh, one by two so anyway you know keep going and this applies to like really busy servers really so uh, again like i'll show you how cold you would be if you was to be a naked i mean look how cold look how quickly my health is going down so almost like yeah he's just going down You haven't got a whole lot of time to look around anyway if you haven't got a lot of clothes on. And when I say that, I mean like if you haven't, you've just got basic uh, bare lap clothing, you know, you're still, you're cold. So that's another good thing about it. It stops people, makes it harder. Now there's a guy who's been, um, in fact, no, this... There's another book guy who's been ready. This was my old stealth base. It's too big. Um, hasn't been raided, but it's just too big. And anyone in a chopper is going to notice it. Uh, I'll just quickly, quickly show you that. Like, or maybe I'll bag into it in a minute. But it's again, it's almost impossible to get up, which is a good thing. And when you're running by it. You can barely see it, but again, it's too big. As you can see, you can see it a lot. So I moved. Now, there's my base, and we're going to run down like anyone looking and scouting around would do. Uh, I'm already getting too cold. I mean, you, you just... You don't see it. I mean, I've already passed it. So that's the key thing, really. I mean, I'm directly looking at it now. So, you know, I'll we'll try and get... It might be possible. I've tried it so many times. It's almost impossible. So you have to go right the way around if you want to get to it. Um, pretty much, I believe. Unless you can... You know, there might be some better climbers out there than me. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that's the idea of it. It's just... You know... Out of the millions of bases I've built on this game... Um, what I'll say is, the bigger your base, you know, the more turrets you've got, the more external walls you've got, the more um, sort of large furnaces you've got, you're just more of a target. Shops, things like that, you're just more of a target. 
I've spoke to people who have raided me before and asked them, you know, why you're raiding me, and they've said, oh, because you've got a shop, or because you've got your large furnace on all the time. So, you know, that's the whole idea of a stealth base is, is like, you know, do you want to spend 12 hours on this game? It depends how you play, people play differently. Do you want to spend, you know, however X amount of time on the game and then, uh, you know, wake up the next day to, to nothing, which usually happens to me. Um, especially if I've, you know, building in a, near a monument or I've got a honey, you know, I've built 20 by 20 honeycomb bases with the, the TC on the third floor, fully armoured. The upkeep is ridiculous. Um, this is my old base, I believe. I oh, know this is a base that got raided still. You know, that's another example of a stealth base. It's good, but it's not that good. And that's why it got raided. Because it's not that stealthy. You can see it very easily from the water. It doesn't blend in that well. And, you know, anyone, anyone with a jackie farming the, all of these nerds, which is why you want to live around here, he's going to raid that. Pretty much. Uh, I know that base got raided as well. These are just examples of kind of people trying to stealth it or at least live out the way. Um, you know, but it's not quite stealthy enough. And obviously, it doesn't really matter what base you've built. Once you, you know, once you've built a base, somebody's going to raid it. Um, I built monstrosities before, and people just see it as a challenge, I guess, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so basically, yeah, the idea is just to be hidden away. Let's say you were running by that. We've run by it from the bottom now. So let's say you were running by it. You know, you were doing your farming, looking for nerds. <coughs> Excuse me. You were doing your farming, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's a great thing. Look how many nerds are out. It's brilliant. Running around. And you can see all these bases, these kind of stealthy bases. But it is annoying getting in and out of it. That is the bad side of it. It is annoying always being cold. Um, you know, and it kind of can be a bit boring sometimes, I guess. But, you know, there you go. Now, just a quick one on the heating. It really matters because it's, it's so annoying. I mean, look how, look how cold I am and my health is going down so rapidly. Uh, get yourself a heater, basically, the new thing on the game, the new heater, a uh, brilliant thing. So, I'd assume my health is going to go up now because of my my comfort, maybe? I don't know, but you can, one thing to notice is you can overheat, uh, so you don't really need to wear that as well if you've got your heater on. Um, set it up to a battery, so whatever. Do your electric, it's quite easy, it's just a, a heater. Uh, but that's really important when you're living out here in the snow uh, in a stealth base because you can't hear really hear that from the outside. I've, I've tested, it's pretty quiet. Um, so but it if you don't have a heater and you don't have like a lot of clothing, I mean, it's annoying constantly crafting clothing. Uh, you know, let me let me show you how sort of quickly you will die if, if you did you know, use just to be in a normal base should we say there's another uh, another another stealth thing I do is called it raided when it isn't obviously but let, let me show you I mean turn the heater off I mean, you know about this, guys. You know about cold and how quickly you die and stuff. But it, it just puts people off wanting to come to this area, basically. The only people who come around here are generally on choppers and, um, you know, just farming up. Because they're nerds. And they, they, they really don't go over the cliff that much. They do to a certain extent, but not that much. So, yeah, get yourself a heater. 
or get yourself um you know the the the, the basic stuff is all right uh the basic burlap burlap clothing that you can buy right let's turn the heater off and i'll show you like this stuff you know that's okay but you're still kind of hovering about being cold depending on where you are and where your carpets are get some carpets on your roof by the way but don't have them sticking out in any way mine are not sticking out just um but yeah you can see i'm just a bit too cold so i'm always going to be losing health there uh you know so it's really important to get get yourself a jacket uh uh under here for the night time or when you haven't got a jacket and yeah do what you will with the insides of it upgrade it make it better than i have um but i would probably say out of all the bases that i've had um this seems to be the the one that lasts the longest i'm going to quickly um i'm going to quickly show you my other base which is next to the outpost and just give you a comparison uh to how crazy it is Sorry, I'm just getting all my loot there. I need my loot. I cannot, I cannot give away my pickaxe. Yeah, get yourself garage doors. Get yourself armoured doors, ideally. Make sure you stick the door, stick the lock in the middle of that. Uh, make sure you stick the door on with the sort of big part facing outwards. If the rock is to the right and vice versa, otherwise your lock will be there and it'll be unlocked and you can't. You, you're stuck. So yeah, don't do that. Uh, I made that mistake. Right, so I'll just show you in completely in comparison. I mean, we haven't seen or heard one person, I believe. Uh, I've got bags all over, but let's say my base here. Pretty sure I heard a gunfire already. Look how many bases there is already, but uh, that wasn't where I was meant to spawn in, actually. No, that wasn't where I was meant to spawn in. Just let me show you. When you need somebody to kill you, nobody will kill you. Roof campers, somebody. Right. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if my old base is even still there, to be honest. But um, outpost. Right, I'm near my old base, I believe. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, just look at how many, you know, bases there. Are. Look at that airdrop. I'm going to actually quickly go for that up. It's in a compound. But yeah, I mean, my base, I believe, is somewhere around here. Uh, it's probably been raided already. That's, that's how, you know, just crazy it is around here. Just trying to give you some sort of comparison to, you know, this is a really busy server, um, you know, compared to living in there. And obviously, once you've got your blueprints, it's not an issue, and you can trade resources. Um, how do you like these apples? You know, you can trade resources. Hello, can I have a free AK-47 and 24 satchels? There you go. Right, so, yeah, that's the whole point of the video is, I think, 
at least if you can have a base in the busy area and, and enjoy running around, you know, killing each other with chad guns, which is personally, I don't really like that. I prefer to raid, but that's however you play, you know, up to you. Fair play to the guys in the, you know, there you go. You can hear the AKs already and stuff. That's how you like to play. That's cool. What I would advise you do is get yourself a base wherever you want and get yourself a big base wherever you want. But maybe before you log off, um, go to your little stealth base and, and put all your, your precious stuff. And um, hopefully, you know, you'll see. Try it. You know, just, just test it. You'll either, you know, your big base will probably be re raided, whereas your, your little stealth base will not. I mean, I'm not saying that it will not be raided because any base, if it's spotted by somebody and and they, and and they find, you know see an interest in it, it will be raided. You know, put shotgun traps everywhere inside. Um, try not to look too rich. I mean, you could argue that it's better to put an outer sheet metal door and an inner garage door for more stealthness, so you don't look too rich. But I know that I prefer to. So, you know, ideally two uh, armoured doors would be great. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I digress. Um, yeah, but that's that's generally the way after sort of over 2,000 2, hours of playing on vanilla times a million or whatever um, is the best way I have found of storing my loot. Um, and waking up without being murdered, which is absolutely brilliant. I mean, listen, you can hear it Com compared to what you can hear in 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 my um, like, you know, ah, peace, peace and quiet. You know, who did hear somebody then? I think I heard somebody hitting a nerd. But there you go. You, know, you might find the occasional guy farming, which is entirely up to you whether you want to pull out, or I'm not even going to open the door, but whether you want to go in there and pull out a massive machine gun and blow his face off, which also has its advantages. But if you're going to do that, don't let him see your stealth base. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy my videos, which I don't actually know if you do because nobody even says anything. Uh, I do live stream, but you know, nobody even likes them or anything. But so, you know, but if you enjoy my videos, I'll try and bring you more tips, stuff like that. I can hear a chopper. See, he's probably farming or leaving or exiting. But yeah, I'm just gonna see. What should we see? I see. Maybe he's going to oil rig, maybe, maybe he's cargo. I don't know. But he probably won't see my best. Anyway, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy the game and keep your loot, is what I will say. <laughs> Cheers.